because you got this 2007 Chrysler Sebring and it's such a P0750 code. I think they put a new valve body in it. So if we start this up, let's get some light in here. Here we go, here's some light. Let's see if it sets a code just starting it up. Okay, so no codes. But if we put it in reverse, it like kind of bangs. Let's see if it set a code. No code in reverse. Huh. Let's put it in drive. Really? Reverse? It's like banging in the gear though. That's weird. Now we have no codes. We had a code. The only thing that I could think of is because I cleared the codes. Hmm. Hmm. I guess we'll see what happens here. Oh no, it's just pending. See that? So we gotta look up this code, this P0750. Um, I don't know if there's any live data for this. It took a little bit for it to show up. They don't give us, looks like they only give us, um, I was hoping they would give us uh, information on that. I'm going to research it real quick. Okay, so I was looking at the wiring diagram and troubleshooting it says the monitor or set conditions three consecutive solenoid continuity test failures and gear ratio i think i had one of these two a couple years ago that had the same symptoms might be a different code i'll try to link that if i do have it um but here's the factory diagram so i'm gonna get the lab scope out and we'll uh hook up to these wires and we'll check it so we need the yellow dark blue, dark green, white, yellow, light blue. We need these because these are our solenoids. LR is what the one that is complaining about. So we can check all these other ones. So let me get that set up and then we'll go after that. Hey guys, so there's supposed to be uh, the tip I'm supposed to output power on the yellow. It says yellow and orange right here and it comes down to I believe it continues yellow and orange all the way down and this is what powers up everything. And I'm on the yellow and orange right now. Let's see if I can get you guys a good view. Oops. But that is definitely. Let's see. That's definitely yellow and orange right there, and I'm pierced into it. And I'm up here. And we're on ground. And we're not even let's oops let me zoom you guys back out so we're on ground right there and all we got is zero volts we try starting this up let's make sure my computer ain't gonna go anywhere actually let's go back clear our codes make sure there's no codes and we'll start this recording over again that way our voltage will be 
a lot more stable. Let's do a quick erase. We'll cycle our key. Oops, did I knock that off again? Every time. Let's go here. Let's cycle this. You can see our scan tool right there. I'm seeing spikes, but I think those are like action spikes or something. Yeah, that's on peak detect. So there's nothing. We got nothing on these solenoids. I knocked that off again. I was gonna check these front ones here. How's our fan on high? Is AC on? No, AC's off, so that must be because it sees a fault. Let's go in reverse. Nothing. So there's nothing. Oh, there's momentarily. Oh, and then it curved down. It shut itself off. It's a soft fault. Let's go back to 20 volts. It's shutting off because it sees a fault. So we were able to catch that. Let's go. Let's try this again. Look. There it goes, it's on. See the voltage is up, then it curves down. Because it sees a fault. It's seeing a fault. It might be a short. Or we could have a bad PCM. Um, but it's being controlled off, commanded off, because it's, it's probably a relay, because it's in the tip of Okay, so now we know that. We gotta check these, uh, gotta check these, uh, circuits too. So I'm gonna connect to the yellow and dark blue and then we'll connect to the orange or dark green and white right here connect to these two and we'll see we get some more leads okay guys so i pierced the wires down here you might be able to see them in here They're down here i have one of the yellow and dark blues there's two yellow and dark blues and there is a yellow and a ye oh no green and white that i pierced so we'll look at that one here. Um, we'll have to check the other one. Could do another channel, but I just want to see what happens real quick. Turning this car on. See what we get on these circuits. So it looks like all that were the same. Let's see. I didn't see any toggling on it. Where was that at? There it was. So they got commanded on. And the blue trait's gonna be the lowest because they're, they're not on top of each other. See, we can drag them down on top of each other. So they all did the exact same thing. I'll just keep them spaced out a little bit so we can see. So all those did the same thing. Hmm, I wonder if we can, is the key still on? Yeah, the key is still on. I wonder if we can toggle these. Maybe I'll try to snap one and see if it'll toggle it. See, I'm not seeing any toggling. There's no toggling. I don't, so I don't know if this tool is actually working. Um, let me try grabbing the snap on. We'll hook the snap on up. Okay, guys, I tried the snap on too, and the snap on does the same thing in the trans. Tried toggling. Tried looking at the solenoid at the same time. Let's see. Clear codes. Let's try to on this other one. But I saw nothing. 
Yeah, see, there's nothing. Um, let's see. System tests. Miscellaneous functions. Yeah, so I can't toggle any of them. Because it detects the fault right away. Let's take this off and cycle it back on. So it does a test right away. And then I can't toggle any of these. Actually, I wonder what would happen if we jumper power to it, if it'll still toggle it. Okay guys, so I jumpered uh, power through this test light. So it can only do two and a half amps. Well, 2.1 amps, sorry. These fill pros are only right at one amp, but we'll try it anyway. So I have it coming over here to um, the battery post right here in the green lead. So let's toggle this and we'll see what happens here. Oops. There you go. So let's toggle. So it looks like it's pulling down. Looks like it's pulling down our voltage. So we might be pulling too much current through this. Um, let's see. I'm gonna add like another half an amp here through the rest of this bulb. Probably not enough to light the bulb, but it's uh, it's a momentary spike. So we're gonna have to jumper that probably directly. Let me try that real quick. If I jumper this, so my green lead's going right to power. We should have power on here all the time. So now if we ground, or if we turn this on, we should see toggling. And we can see a little bit, but it's not pulling much. So I think that's our problem right there. I think I think we have a ground issue here. So if we go to four solenoid, let's go back. Because we should have constant power, so this should, this should uh, be toggling right now. Toggle this one. You can see you can see that you get that weird little like I don't know one volt, not even one volt, probably like I don't know. It's like a I don't know, whatever that tiny little drop that shows up on that pattern. Watch here we go again. You'll see it, that little dip right there, and that little dip only occurs when we have this thing turned on. If I turn when we go back. It doesn't do it. So that's the ECU trying to ground something. So I think our issue is going to be we got a bad ground or something on this ECU. Or we got a bad ground on the trans. I don't know. Maybe that valve body is bad. Um, let's go back. What I want to check. Actually, we could ground these solenoids and just hear if they click. Let's see. Let's take like this blue one. This should, uh, we touch it on here on something that's we should get something. I don't know if this is grounded. should hear some kind of clicking inside the trans. Let me see if I can get like a test light on here or something. Hey guys, so what I did was I found this connector right here. It's up a little higher from the trans. And we have no, see there's a light blue and a dark blue. And I'm supplying power through the yellow and orange up here. So yellow and orange is going down, going through the trans. And coming up so we don't have any voltage on our blue trace here our blue is all the way down here at the bottom probably show you right here see blue it's almost a zero volts so if we come over here to blue blue is this one so it's a blue and it looks like dark yellow and dark blue yellow and dark blue 
looks like our 24 solenoid um so what we had our code for yellow and dark blue Code was 50, um, which that says low reverse. Um, we can check our resistance because we can disconnect this. But we have no continuity through our yellow and dark blue. wiggled it because um, we had it down there we didn't have it either at our trans because we should have it all the way through our circuit um, what I do want to do is I want to see if we can tap these to ground I need to get another lead tap these to ground and see if we get our if it looks like a normal waveform on here I got this lead hooked up to ground right here we're going to touch it on here and you can see we got a spike. Let's go to our other one. Let's go to our let's go to our yellow. It switches over to yellow. Yellow trace. There we go. Let's see. So yellow we get like the same waveform. Okay. Um, these leads aren't designed to carry currents. So I don't want to do this too much. Um, let's see, that was weird. Some random guy walking by. Let's go to green. Check our green trace. Green. Same thing. And then, did we do blue? I don't think we did blue. Let's do blue. Oh, we can't do blue. Because there is no blue. Um, I think we might have two problems, but I'm going to have them fix that just in case there's like some kind of weird issue that the ECU just won't do it because it senses a problem with another circuit. Um, we'll check the blue down farther. We checked it there, and like I said, that is dark blue, 100% dark blue. That is our issue right there, dark blue. So we'll come down farther, see if I can match that color up. So that proves that going into our module is fine, but coming out is a problem. Oops, so let me find that wire. You guys, I got the intake duct out of the way, but we're on the wire right here. And then we don't have any power here, which comes in light blue, goes out light blue. I mean dark blue. Um, so you can see we got I wonder if our car is dying. Let's, see, let's go back. No, it's just 12 volts. We only have six coming out of it. So our solenoid's probably bad, but we don't have anything up here on this blue, and we should have power up here in the blue. So I'm going to check the other side of this connector and see if we got anything here. We might have a broken wire somewhere in here. Okay, so I got on my lab scope. These, the green and blue are connected to the same one. I didn't realize that there was another yellow and blue. I thought I saw them all in there. There was another one, but... So if we touch this, we get the same spike. So... Uh, there's only one other thing left we can try, and that's... Uh, we can measure the resistance. Um, if I disconnect power, we can see if we can measure the resistance of the circuit. I don't know if it'll let us, but we'll try. We just measure it right through there. Let me see if we can do this. I'll use the yellow and blue. Or not the yellow and blue, uh, the red and blue leads. Okay, guys, we got it on the ohm scale. So I'm measuring from power to the other side there. We got two ohms. Um, let's see, does it tell us what it's supposed to be? This may tell us in here. Um, I brought up the guy component test earlier so we could 
do the lab scope and uh, lab scope and the uh, graphing at the same time. Let's see what's it supposed to be. So 1.5 to 1.8. So that's good. Um, I'm okay with it saying too. It's not like outrageously off. So we got two ohms. Um, we could check the other ones. Let's see. Let's check the other ones. Let me set this up. We'll check the, I guess the green and white next. We're on the green and white to power. We got two ohms on that one. And then what do we got? The other, uh, got the light blue and then what was it? Uh, I forget what the other one was. So we'll get the light blue one. Um, we gotta find that one. Okay, so we got two ohms on that one there. Now, which one? The other? What's the other one? Yellow, dark blue, dark green, white, and yellow, white. So there should be a yellow, white one yet. Let me get that one. So now we're on the yellow, white. You guys can see the white tracer, and that's two ohms. So they're all two ohms. So our resistance check's good. Our voltage is good. We showed that we can. Looks like some kind of solenoid waveform when we manually toggle them. So we just gotta check our PCM. Make sure our PCM grounds are good. But what I'm actually thinking is I think the driver just died. I don't know why I can't control the other ones. But I'm thinking we're gonna need a PCM. Um, let me check our grounds. Let's see, it's good our PCM grounds. Oh, here they are. So actually, I have it up. At least this is for our trans side. Looks like 2, 4, and 33. 2, 4, and 33. So we'll check those next.